So a couple of years ago now, I started to make my synthesizer Cosmo a little bit more reliable uh, by making circuit boards of the projects that were in there. And did the process of making the synthesizer more reliable, I offered out the panel and PCB projects so other people can make them too. There's quite a community of people who make 20 centimeter tall metric 5U uh, synthesizer modules nowadays, which all stemmed from a chat in a van me and Simeon Rogers had about building synthesizers this size. And some offcuts of aluminium. Well this module, the 12222, is the second module I put out. It took a few months to figure out after the first one and this is a performance VCO and I designed it to kind of tackle the problems that I had up to this point uh, where playing live with modular synthesizers. It's got an octave control and a tuner. A fine tune that goes over an octave, pulse width modulation and all the other kind of standard oscillator garbles. But with all of this in mind it meant that you could be in tune probably more than 50% of the time which for me that's a that's a win. The oscillators that this were replacing were unipolar and personally I prefer the way that it distorts distorts, it kind of distorts in a weird way, we'll talk about it a little bit later. But these are made from Curtis chips and it's got everybody's favourite waveform, the square wave. It's got a triangle and a ramp and for me this oscillator does every single thing I need for the stuff that I make. This past couple of years I've done quite a lot of Cosmo modules. The last couple have been a little bit problematic and they've taken about four months each. I do apologise. For instance the modulation station for the Game Boy that was a bit of a better off of designing. And the latest one which was proven to be a little bit of a challenge but I'm finally over the hump is a spring reverb module with voltage control over everything and a bit of drive as well. Ooh. For me personally, the larger size is more preferable. The knobs are a little bit more spaced apart and the bigger jacks are just a bit more oom, oom, oom. However, as we know, I'm in the minority here and Eurorack is obviously the most popular and it has been asked a number of times whether these will ever be available in Eurorack format. Well, a person that I've known for a while called Christian who makes modules under the name FunkMod uh, contacted me uh, a few months back, said he's heard of the request and actually decided to jump in and take on the challenge himself. So are you ready to see the Eurorack version of the 1222 performance oscillator. <laughs> so this is pretty much a carbon copy of this with a handful of mods but in Eurorack format. Uh, it's really funny. Daddy, am I gonna grow up big and strong like you someday? No, I'm afraid, little one, you're gonna be that size forever. But be proud, because it's what's inside that counts. Yay, Daddy, that's the best thing I've ever heard! <laughs> and it doesn't stop there, because we're gonna shrink down a few of them. This is the 1114 filter girl, and this has shrunk down as well. <laughs> Here being its larger sibling, and there's also been work on the triple splashback delay. All of the doodles are actually still intact as well. They've basically just been shrunk down, which is pretty cool. This one is a prototype. Christian over at Funk Mod is going to be making them all. This one's going to be the next one out. But as you can see with the 1222, it's actually got surprisingly similar scales. The attenuator trim pots are miniature, but that's because it was getting a little bit tight in there. Even to the rear, the at Mega Chip is still on an Arduino Nano. So if you want to make the uh, tuner kind of image do something different, like a. Well, you can, you could just uh, mess around and experiment. I haven't got that much Eurorack, but I've got enough to show you what it sounds like. Woo! I myself, not personally being a Eurorack connoisseur, as somebody, I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer the big chunky mummers, but I'm actually quite surprised at how well it's transferred over to the Eurorack size. Um, you know, there's still plenty of space around there, and it actually feels, it actually feels kind of a bit more solid, <laughs> funnily enough, but we're not going to talk about that, that's fine. Let's go for the obligatory waveform, square wave. Right now it's tuned to C and it stays pretty solid through the octaves. We got ramp. We got triangle. It goes through five octaves, but the fine tune knob is designed in such a way that it is an octave itself. Which is actually pretty damn useful and you can adjust exactly where in the octave you want this to lie, twisting a trim pot over here, the center control. So you can actually put this to maybe a C if you want this to go up completely to the C or you want the center point to be the C or something like that. It can be anything. So with the Big Mama, there's a documented modification on the forum to improve the pulse width modulation kind of tuning, which isn't too much of a problem, but it still uh, has been treated a little bit. So it's basically two resistors here. This automatically has that and the pulse width is pretty slamming. <laughs> To the point that you can frequency modulate the pulse width modulation and it actually sounds pretty good. That 
that is frequency modulating the pulse width modulation. And you could do the more traditional slow modulation. It's also got a sync input. And an FM input. And a modulation input with an attenuator. Now let's plug it through the filter grrr. The waveforms are offset in such a way that the top of the waveforms clips and distorts before the bottom. So it actually makes some interesting effects when you plug it through a filter or a distortion or something. That's of course also down to the funky filter which is already available in Cosmo format but it will soon be available in Eurorack as well because they're tiny, they're like little hand synthesizers. Now let's plug it through the BeatStep Pro. I think this is the first time I've used the BeatStep Pro and I haven't had to use a big jack converter. Whether that's good or bad, who knows. <laughs> I've got another one which is a prototype, it's very similar but it's got a different coloured screen so we're just going to use this to see what it's like with two of them. Ooh! So that is the one two 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 VCO, and it's basically, I mean, it's it's nothing super new. It's just in Eurorack format, which is pretty funky. Personally, for me, I think it's just the right amount of functionality, and then also the fact is it's just easy to use, and it's got some good sounds. In fact, the pulse width modulation audio rate thing and stuff like that has given me a few ideas uh, for stuff. I'm going to continue building. Cosmo format modules purely because this is the format that I use and I prefer it a little bit bigger but I can completely understand what in fact I it's quite nice and I quite enjoy it to the point that I might even put a Eurorack pan like Eurorack uh, section there I'm going to be making a portable uh, version because this is very hard to take abroad maybe maybe it all needs to be sorted yep yeah, that's a very good point oh this is so good idea oh my gosh this is so funky and then the 1114 that's going to be out reasonably soon we're going to work on that getting it going and then also the delay uh, I think is the one after that and then moving on Cosmo format next one Spring Reverb module. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna drop it. Uh, uh.
And then there's a few others in the works, like a, a, a funky voltage control portmento, but then there's a polyphonic one coming along. And then it sounds like I'm gonna be working on another oscillator because I've got some fucking ideas. Woo -woo. It's kind of nice. But anyway, uh, these are actually available already. So uh, they're, they're available in a bunch of online synthesizer stores. Uh, there's a links below if you're interested. And yeah, uh, if you wanna give a shout out to Christian over at Funkmon, then go and give him a shout out because He's shoving them together and he's, he's working pretty hard on all this. Let me know what you think. I'm, so, I'm really pleased with these actually. They're really cool. It's on mute. Oh, you can't hear it. <laughs>